For months, more than a thousand families who lost their homes in the Marshall Fire have been waiting for answers about the emergency response on that tragic day. Tonight, some of those answers are now available. That's after a new report published quietly by emergency officials. Denver 7's Bayan Wang is going deeper on what authorities say went right and also went horribly wrong. The report came out very quietly days ago, apparently. Tuesday of last week, the Marshall Fire Operational After Action Report surfaced. Yeah, we were waiting for six months. Tanya Samaru lost her Louisville home in the fire. I assumed there would be some kind of a press release or something, or, or somehow they would try to communicate this to the fire survivors. But that didn't happen, and the public wasn't notified about the report. Obviously, we maybe could have coordinated that better, but it was more about getting this to for uh, each participating member and then releasing it to the community. Mike Chart is the director of Boulder's Office of Emergency Management. He worked on the 55 page report with multiple other agencies. It's a review of the emergency response to the fire. What went well, uh, what didn't go well, what are the gaps and challenges. In Louisville, some of the challenges included no defined strategy for the incident, ranging from evacuations, welfare checks, and traffic control. There was also communication lapses with radios and phones that caused information to be missed. Another issue was crews didn't know where to evacuate first. So we were never evacuated. How we found out the fire was already in our neighborhood was that a neighbor around 120 came driving into the neighborhood, beating a horn, screaming, the flames are on our side of the street, let's go. According to the report, communities in danger weren't all evacuated at once to avoid traffic jams on the roadways. We're putting more effort into planning and looking at those evacuation zones and and seeing what is the largest area you can do, but still maintain some of that traffic flow. And Similar challenges were also seen in Boulder County. The report says that a warning alert could have been sent to impacted areas by state officials, but that never happened because prior planning didn't occur. There's been about a three month effort going on and uh, enhancing those uh, evacuation zones, having them prepared ahead of time so you're not doing it verbally in the moment. Bayon Wang, Denver 7.